this is section 4.1 and 4.2. We're going to combine the two, and we're going to continue with what we've been talking about. But uh, in this section, we are going to write quadratic equations from a graph in vertex form. So now I'm going to give you the graph, and now you're going to have to come up with the, the equation. Okay. So as we look at this, the a lot of your, or every single one of these that you're going to write is going to be in vertex form. You're not going to have to worry about standard form on these. Um, but how to write a quadratic equation from a graph. Okay. First, you're going to need to find the vertex. Once you've found the vertex, then you're going to need to find one other point. Now, that other point, usually the easiest point to find is the y-intercept, but you may not have that. Uh, you may have to work with any other point. Again, any other point, as long as it's on the curve, it doesn't matter. The easiest one is the y-intercept to work with. Okay. Once you have found your two points, you're going to substitute them in for h and k, which is the vertex. Okay, I don't forget that's h and k is the vertex. And then the other point that you found goes in for x and y. That's the actual point on the curve. Then you're going to solve for the a value because you don't have the a. You're going to have x, you're going to have h, you're going to have k, you're going to have y, and you're going to have to solve for this a value. Once you solve for a and then you have h and k, then you're going to substitute those three values into vertex form. And now you've found the, quadratic, the equation of the quadratic from a graph. Okay, So let's take a look at an example. Start here with this example, and let's identify first uh, some points here. Okay, uh, first of all, we got to identify the vertex, and the vertex in this point, in this case, is at the ordered pair one comma five. This is the vertex. Okay, and then you notice you have two other points. Now you can pick and choose whichever one you want, but you'll notice as you see up here on the graph, we have the y-intercept. So anytime we can use the y-intercept, we want to use that because it has the number 0. So the y-intercept in this case is the ordered pair 0 and 9. Okay. So again, this goes in for h, this goes in for k, this goes in for x, and this goes in for y into the basic vertex form of a quadratic. Okay. So I'm going to substitute those guys in. 9 is y. I don't know a times the quantity, x is 0, minus h is 1, squared, and then plus 5. Well, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, so 9 equals a times negative 1 squared plus 5. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, so this is just 9 equals, and 1 times a is just a plus 5. And then if I subtract 5, Okay, subtract 5 to get a by itself, and a is 4. Okay, so I'm going to use this, a equals 4, and I'm going to use this, my vertex, for those to put into vertex form. So y equals a is 4 times the quantity x minus 1, that's h squared, and plus 5. And now you have the equation of the graph to your left. Okay, so let's take a look here at these other two. Go ahead and turn to the next. Okay, as you look at this, this graph, again, first point you want to identify is the vertex. And the vertex, in this case, happens to be at the point negative 3, negative 2. Okay. And you'll notice again, this time they don't give us a y-intercept. There is a y-intercept there, but they don't give it to us. So we're going to use this other point that they have. And this other the point that they have is negative 1, negative 5. Again, this is h, this is k, this is x, and this is y. It's going to be plugged into this formula. Okay. So now I've got y is negative 5 equals, I don't know, a, x is negative 1, minus h is negative 3 squared, and k is negative 2. <clears throat> so, negative 5, a times, this is negative 1 plus 3 squared, minus 2. Negative 1 and positive 3 is 2. So, negative 5 equals a times 2 squared minus 2. 2 squared is 4, so negative 5 equals 4a minus 2. 
and I'm going to add 2 to each side, so then it becomes negative 3 equals 4a. And in this case, if I divide by 4, a is going to be negative 3 fourths. So again, you're going to use the a, and you're going to use your vertex. I'm going to use these two pieces of information to plug into my equation, and my equation is going to be y equals a is negative 3 fourths times the quantity x plus 3, because it's x minus the negative 3, and square it, and then minus 2. And you're done. Okay? All right, let's take a look at this final example now. Again, identify the vertex, which in the case of this is negative 4, 1. This time, you notice they don't have a y-intercept. This graph never intersects the y-axis in the picture. Okay, so the other point that they give us is the ordered pair, negative 6, uh, negative six and 5. And again, this is h, this is k, this is x, and this is y. Plugging it into this, vertex form. y is 5 equals, we don't know, a. x is negative 6 minus negative 4, which is h squared and then plus 1. So this is 5 equals a times negative 6 plus 4 squared plus 1. And negative 6 and 4 is negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is 4. Subtract 1 and divide by 4 and a is going to equal 1. And I've got the vertex of negative 4, 1. So my equation, y equals 1 times the quantity x plus 4, again, because it's negative, so we're going to have two negatives there, squared and plus 1. And this is the graph, or this is the equation of your graph. Okay, so this concludes 4, 1 and 4, 2, writing equations from the graph.